Hi, this is Mark Littleton, the minister of the Word for the Athens Church of Christ, with today's three-minute sermon. I want to share with you a passage today in John chapter 19, beginning down in verse 31. This is right after Jesus has been crucified. He has just said it is finished. He has completed the redemptive work to provide salvation by God's grace to us through his sacrifice for us on the cross. What I want you to notice today, though, is found beginning in verse 31. It says, Now it was the day of preparation, and the next day was to be a special Sabbath. Because the Jewish leaders did not want the bodies left on the crosses during the Sabbath, they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. And of course, if you keep reading, they come to Jesus. They did not break his legs. They saw that he was already dead, which was a fulfillment of prophecy. But the interesting thing is what these Jewish leaders say. They, they don't want the bodies to be left on the cross because the next day was a Sabbath. Not just a Sabbath, but a special Sabbath. This would have been the Sabbath day during the Passover week, which was a very holy day to these Jewish leaders. And so, uh, based on what their law said back in Deuteronomy 21, verse 23, uh, the law said, don't leave a body hanging on the cross overnight. You take that body down. And so that's what they want to do. They want to make sure we get the bodies down off the cross because we don't want to violate God's law. And yet, I want you to think about what they had just done. They had just murdered an innocent man. They had just crucified their long-awaited Messiah, the Christ. They had just murdered God in human flesh, and yet they're really meticulous over here about wanting to keep this law about not letting the body stay on the cross overnight, while at the same time, they just murdered an innocent man. They just killed the Son of God. When I read this text, the word that comes to my mind is blind spots. Now, I think these Jewish leaders were willfully blind. They didn't want to see the truth about who Jesus was. And yet I think we can learn from their example here that sometimes in our own lives, we can have blind spots, things in our life that are just not what they ought to be, and yet we can't see those things. We may be very meticulous about keeping the law of God in some areas, but there's this huge area over here where we're not really paying attention to what God wants. And maybe everybody else can see that inconsistency in our life, but we can't see it ourselves. When I think of that, I think of what Jesus said in Matthew 23, beginning in verse 23, when he said, "'Woe to you, uh, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You give a tenth of your spices, mint and dill and cumin, but you've neglected the more important matters of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness. You should have practiced the latter without neglecting the former. Jesus says, you pay attention. You're very meticulous in some areas about keeping God's law, and you ought to do those things. But don't neglect the things that are most important, things like justice and mercy and faithfulness. See, it's possible for us to have blind spots in our lives where we think we're doing pretty good when it comes to living the way God wants us to live, but there's this huge elephant in the room that maybe we just can't see. And so here's my challenge to you today. Think about your own life and ask yourself, where are the blind spots in my life where my life isn't what, really what God wants it to be? I may be doing pretty good in some other areas, but here there's this area where I'm not really doing so well. Ask the Lord to help you to see what those blind spots are and where they are, and then ask Him to have the courage to help you deal with those things. Hope you have a blessed day. Lord willing, we'll see you again tomorrow for another three-minute sermon. God bless.